Hello and welcome to episode 12 of my Let's Play Minecraft Vanilla, or Vanilla Minecraft, as I should be calling it. I am KHM, and as you can see, I have completely enclosed my farm here. Now, currently I have it shut down because uh, I still haven't quite gotten the uh, elevator, the item elevator working to the point where it can handle the capacity of this farm. Um, I've tried all sorts of interesting things, and uh, sometimes it works perfectly, no loss. Other times I get 100% loss. Uh, last thing I tried was putting a piston here and using it as kind of an item regulator. That didn't really work too well. Anyway, yeah, so. Whole thing's completely enclosed. Need to figure out what to put down there. Use to occupy that space. Um. Let's see, uh. Oh, yeah. Today we're going to start working on a, uh, transit station. Or a minecart. Trans. Trans, yeah, a minecart transit station in uh, uh, the Nether. So we're gonna need to dig out quite a bit of room, and I need to grab some stuff. Uh, I'm gonna bring an Ender chest because they're useful. Oh yeah, I managed to get a music disc off a creeper. And as you can see, I have a stack of TNT just itching to be used. But I don't think I'm going to use it for this project. Let's see, we're going to need some of this stuff here. Just grab all of this. Throw it in the chest. Let's see. Mainly, I think what I'm going to need is some wood and a crafting table. Oh, and chess. We're gonna need chess. Lots and lots of chess. Lots and lots and lots of chess. I'll get this ender pearl away real quick. Okay. Flint and steel. I don't want some flint and steel. There we go. And, well, we're not going to be exposed out in the open, so I don't really need the bow or anything at the moment. No combat. Um, as you can see over here, I had this rather interesting idea a short while ago, and did some experiments. Uh, basically what the idea was is a thing would, is that you'd be able to push a button, and it would open up the gate, and another button to close the gate. Uh, how it worked is, uh, well, currently have the button over here. This button would light it. So you can see there's a sticky piston down under there, hooked up to some wood. There's fire here. Uh, yep, there. Just what happened. The fire would spread over to this block, causing the portal to open. And what I was hoping is that when the portal opened, it would cause a uh, block update. And so I have a bud switch over here set up. It would trigger and uh, toggle this RS Nor slat, this RS Nor, the RS Nor latch. I think that's an RS Nor latch anyway. Anyway, it, it it's yeah. I'm pretty sure it's an RS Nor latch. Anyway, trigger this shut down this, and it would cause the uh, piston there to lower. Uh, but because apparently it doesn't send an a block update when the uh, portal opens, it doesn't work. Although, oddly enough, it will send a block update when the portal closes. Okay, maybe it won't. I don't know. Sometimes it did, sometimes it didn't. So, anyway, yeah. Still has some issues that need to be worked out. Okay. Onward to the nether. Whoa, and apparently a slime made it through. 
Well, that's better than the creeper I was expecting. Now, let's see. Whoa, freak! <laughs> uh, speaking of which, there he is. <laughs> oh, shit, that was close. <gasps> oh, look, all this netherrack is still here. Alright, I'm going to spend a few minutes cleaning this up. Okay, I was down here mining. And, uh... Sorry, one moment. And I found my first emerald. Ever. Emerald ore. It's the first emerald I've ever found. Amazing. Oh, shoot. Alright, I'm gonna get back to mining. Alright, um, and we're back. It's, uh, been a few more days. Um, I haven't been able to record, but I've been able to play. So, just to a quick update, I've uh, done some cosmetic changes around here. Put these little square things in on the walkway around here. Which is cool. I kind of like the effect. Um, done some clearing out. I've extended the floor a little bit. And, uh, completely leveled off the area in here. This is now nice and flat and ready for whatever it is that I plan to do. I'm, I put these wooden beams up, and I was kind of thinking of having pillars going down, but I'm not quite sure how that's going to turn out. Um, I've replaced the asynchronous item elevator with a uh, very ugly synchronous one. Alright. Oops. Basically what I have is, uh, I have all these pistons here, and they go at the same time. Items get pushed into the piston, pushed up into the next water stream, which pushes, uh, which pushes it over to the next piston, so on and so forth. And, uh, all the pistons are hooked up to this, uh, five clock here. Which, uh, has a built-in AND gate here, so that uh, when it's been flipped off it uh, uh, will not run the five clock since there's no point in running it when it's supposed to be off and uh, got a downwards vertical transmission of redstone going from that switch up there that's hooked up to the floodgates I unfortunately could not figure out a way to get the uh, uh, asynchronous item elevator to work with the, uh, the quantity of items that it needed to work with. It's hooked up to this switch here. Anyway, I couldn't quite get it to work with the quantity of items that it needed to be used for with this. Probably be good with a uh, small mob trap or something. M small mob farm or small automated cactus or sugar farm or something. But with this larger farm here. Um, I had to use a synchronous one. The synchronous one seems to be able to do the job though, so that's good. Even though I hate synchronous devices. Let's see, what else? Um, oh yeah, let's go pay a visit to the nether, since that's where I left off saying I was going to work. Damn creepers. The area's just littered with craters now thanks to them. Anyway, how I like the gate now is I just flip this switch, brings up this wooden plank here, and I just sit here and wait for the gate to open.
That didn't take long. Okay. Okay, and here is our minecart station. You can see I have uh, these half slabs on the floor and also on the ceiling. Give it a nice look. Stone bricks everywhere. And down here we have the minecart and the rail system. Uh, and here we have a quick storage area where I put stuff that I needed. Grab one of these fire potion resistance since it sucks not having them. And uh, the rail system here isn't quite complete yet. But I've gotten it to the point where it's all the way to the blaze spawner that uh, uh, we're going to be working on next. The uh, next project is going to be a uh, blaze experience farm. Which will have uh, twice the yield of the spider one. Uh, will be a lot easier all around and will give us uh, the much needed blaze rods we need to make some more of this uh, fire resistance potions. Which as you can see I've made them extended. This uh, minecart rail is kind of plain, I'd like to decorate it a bit, but not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet. I figured I'd start with a plain look and then work from there. I pretty much did all oops, did all this off camera because it's a fairly simple repeating pattern. And uh, down here we pass through these uh, gates on this side, or these iron bars on the side which is supposed to give us a small view of the nether as we're going down the minecart or going up it whichever which looks kinda nice I thought they were lobbing firewalls at, fireballs at me you know I keep seeing those guys there but I have absolutely no idea why they're spawning there and there specifically it's kinda interesting now as you can see this is woefully incomplete but it gets us pretty close to it, and it's good enough for now. Let's see. I believe over there somewhere is the blaze spawner that we're going to be working with. And right there is that gate that uh, came through. Which takes us out into the middle of the ocean. Just pops through it real quick. Yep, middle of the ocean. You know, I suspect that there's probably a mushroom island somewhere in this ocean. So, uh... They might be uh, searching for that a bit later for some mycelium. But I think I'll build the, uh... Blaze farm first. And let's see, did I bring the materials with me to work on a blaze farm? Mm, sort of. Any cobblestone. So. I'll go ahead and gather some resources. And, uh. I'll be back when we're ready to start working on the blaze farm. Alright, I'm currently heading towards the blaze spawner. I'm all suited up, I've got some stuff to build with, and I grabbed some potions here, although I should have grabbed a better pick, but uh, oh well, we're going in with this. Respiration 3, Blast Protection 4, Aqua Affinity 1 Helmet, Fire Protection 3, Chest Plate, Protection 4, Diamond Leggings, and uh, Protection 3, of from fire. Boots. Because I lost my good stuff. But anyway. With this, I should be able to beat off all the blaze. 
man the uh, gas, hopefully. I'll just go ahead and leave that there. Alrighty then. Oh yeah, and my sword. Sharpness 3, knockback 2, and looting 2. Which is pretty sweet. Just have to figure out how to get over to there. Alright, I cut a staircase thing over here. Ouch. And to remember, I don't have Featherfall anymore. Ow. Yeah, it wasn't necessary, but I did so anyway. Oh, hey, look, some oops. Go out, you stupid fire. There's some uh, wither skeletons. With any luck, I might be able to get some skulls out of them. Ow. That is not the blaze spawner I'm after. Jeez, how many of you guys have spawned here? Ah, you missed. Wait, I need food on my hotbar. Uh, nope. Whoa, that is not the way we want to go. What is... Okay, that's Blaze. Okay. It's not what I'm looking for. The spawner over here is the one I want to use because it looks like it's the most easily defended or most heavily defended from gas. So it'll be the easiest to work on. Quick chug of uh, flame resistance potion. the heck? Ah, crap. I have a shovel right here. Here we go. It's not my shovel. Okay, now I have to figure out the dimensions of the uh, uh, spawner here. Whoa. Blaze Rod is always welcome. Alright, need to clear out this area. I might fast forward through some of this if it gets too boring. Eat the freaking food. Okay, which way is the smaller way? Okay, so four off in this direction. One, two, three, so about to here. And four off in this direction, so one, two, three, and four. That is the area I'll need to clear out. Oops.
Now I'm going to be using Etho's method of shutting down spawners. It's a good method and I like it. Works quite well and pacifies them easily so one can work on the grinder. Without having to use potions. So, oops, oh well. I'm gonna have a lot of blaze rod after this. Well, I guess that's kind of the point. Distraction. And, and now I gotta clear out this. Still have two minutes, thirty seconds. It's nice having longer extended ones. I should probably ready another one. And there we have it. Blaze spawner should be completely shut off now. So once I get finished dealing with these uh, last blaze, That should be all the blaze this spawner produces for the time being. What the? Did I screw up? Oh, I did! Oops. <laughs> oh dear. Um, it's this side that produces... that needs four. My bad. Correct that.
There we go. And I'll just go ahead and remove this. Since it is clearly not needed. And that's it. The blaze spawner is completely shut down. And I can begin working on the actual uh, mob grinder portion of it. Which will require a bit of cleaning around, cleaning out of the surroundings. So, I'll go ahead and do some planning and some cleaning out uh, off camera. And I'll be back. Okay. So you can see I'm here at uh, my XP farm. Um, I went mining earlier. And I forgot to have a uh, bucket of water on my hot bar and fell into a pool of lava and burned to death while carrying a uh, harvester. So harvester is now dead, rip harvester. And I've been trying to come up with a replacement for it, so far no luck. And I, I was kind of thinking maybe i would go ahead and just end this episode with another enchantment. See what I get. Ooh. Okay, definitely no harvester. <sighs> eh. So, uh. In the next episode, we'll uh, wire up the uh, blaze farm. And, uh. So, until then, I am KHM. <laughs> And I'll see you in the next episode.